Okay, so since my memory is so terrible, I'm actually going to write down the actual order that needs to be done, which is actually pretty simple. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It just, it just crisscrosses, but for my own sake, I'm going to write it down because I'm an idiot. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 13. Just writing this down per the book just so I don't fuck up the sequence and I'm going to now do like I said before 30, 60, and 80 across the board in the order the Twitter book tells me to do it. Say real quick as it takes me two minutes to fucking put it on. Durr. That ain't going anywhere. Sweet. I actually might paint this because that's looking really crusty. So I might actually paint this again. I painted it when I did it the first time, but it's looking really crusty now that I look at it. Same with this. I'd powder coat it, but or I might actually, no, I don't want to spend the money. I keep telling myself, quit throwing fucking money at it because it's useless. Like I want to buy those nice build aluminum wheels they make for all this stuff, which is cool. It looks nice. Is it necessary? No. But do I want it? Yeah. Just like billet covers. Do I need billet valve covers? No. Do I have them? Yes. Now, that's a little bit different story. Um, with these, I actually got a steal. These were sold by OCD Works. These were some of the first set they ever made. Um, I actually got these for like something like 450 or 500 bucks. I ended up selling my stock covers. I, think, I don't even think it was that much. I ended up selling my stock covers for like $400. And they didn't have any of the AN bungs in or anything. This already came with like the AN bungs, the 10 dash bungs in the back, or the AN fittings in the back of it. And uh, yeah, so it almost came out to even price really to have built valve covers. I got really, really lucky with these. That's pretty much the only reason I have it. Oh, and on top of it, they're black already. I didn't have to pay to have my stock ones powder coated, so it saved me a ton of money. Untape the end. Pull the plastic. Off. <laughs> probably, people are probably watching this like, is this guy that stupid? He can't pull the fucking plastic. <laughs> Well, he can't, apparently. I'm good at taking the rubbers off. Woohoo! Turner! It really is, it's such... Yeah, you see how this is rounded off more? Mm -hmm. Definitely see this does have a higher peak versus this, which actually has a rolling. Right. Just looking at the cams, you can see there's a higher profile on this. Versus... Versus stock, and I'm fucking tired. It's like 7 o'clock. Dude, I've been drinking all day. Fuck off. God, you're old. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Are you guys an alcoholic? What do you mean, am I an alcoholic? Do you or have any? <laughs> Are you, do you an alcoholic? Do you have, have some? Any? I mean, are you trying to offer me some? So yeah, uh, old stop cam goes bye-bye. And where's that clear plastic thing at? There it is. Let's put this inside. 
Oh. Just use protection. Oh yeah, hold on. Oh. Damn it. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Scott. Uh, 10 years ago I had hair, believe it or not. This is gonna be the, uh, hold on a second, I gotta look at the box, tell me which, uh, this is the intake exhaust. <laughs> hey, uh, Kyle, what happens when you, uh, remove the radiator cap when the engine's hot? Can you go ahead and tell us about how that works out for you, buddy? Nope, my memory doesn't remember that as Ryan Scott. No, so I'll go ahead and let you guys know how that worked out. Kyle <laughs> wanted to tell me that, oh, guys, you, you don't have to worry about it. Man, Your motor hot, wasn't hot yet. Did it? Let me just go ahead and cut him off there. Engine was perfectly hot. No. Oh wasn't. no, bro. When it's warm like that, it don't matter. He's up there, and I go, no, 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 no. no when it's Two cold. seconds later, boom! That shit flies up to the ceiling. When fucking it's goes cold. everywhere. God, it's just like I was with his mom last night. It just fucking went everywhere. <laughs> Pranks on you. <laughs> How many times has he said that? I don't ever pull up. I just want to hold this. Up for me. Just sit that. My name's Frank. Stop calling me. Your name's Frank? God damn it! <laughs> hey, all these YouTube people think you actually have friends. Shh. People are gonna like learn. I don't have any fucking friends. Paid subscribers. <laughs> God, I buy all my friends on Instagram. Now they're gonna know I buy them on YouTube. <laughs> yes, I know this isn't going apparently. I'm just sitting him here for now because I ignore the fucking. All right, go ahead. All right, now it should start up, right? Yeah, bro, just go ahead and we'll just drop it in there. What I mean is we're going to take a running push, and if it falls incorrectly, all the wiring just falls into place, apparently, and uh, it just starts making brat, 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 brat noises. Oh, okay. deeper. That yeah, thing just slides in there. Just go ahead and push it and hold it to slide up the bottom part. So. In the last video, you saw that there was a head on it, and it was cranked down, and it was done. My dumbass, where's it at? When you put the head on, you have the head studs. Well, there's another item that you need. There's two dowels that go around the one front stud and the one rear stud. My dumbass forgot to put them on. So after all that work, after everything I had done, I had to take the head completely back off to put this little piece on. Actually, let me zoom in and show you guys. This little piece here, it goes around one of the front studs and one of the rear studs, there's two of them. I was missing one first of all, but uh, yeah, I had to remove the entire head just for this little piece. This helped center the head on it better. Could have got away with it without having these on? Probably. Do I want to take the chance for all this work? Fuck no. So I'd rather do it now, take the head back off. Now I gotta retorque everything again, do everything to spec, and I have to go maybe a foot pound or two higher on the studs just because they're torqued to yield style bolts. I think, don't quote me on that, I think they are. Um, I'm no fucking mechanic by any stretch. I'm a do it yourself or here at home. So, yeah, got to put this on now, and I'm a dumbass. One thing you guys can't forget is the washer that actually goes in between the billet tensioner, or any tensioner for a stock Toyota, and in between the tensioner itself. So this goes to the block and in between. It's to help it keep from binding up. I gotta put the brand new belt on. I got a brand new one from Toyota. I could have probably went with a, a racing, a Gates belt. I don't see the necessity in it with me uh, just going for pump gas. This belt's fine. It's made by Gates also, I believe. I'm pretty sure that Gates, or who does make this? Maybe Unita? Fuck, I don't know. Whatever that is. Um, Gates pretty much makes most of the belts for most American vehicles, uh, for most cars actually in general. So I'm not sure who makes this for Toyota. I guess it's this Unita, whatever brand this is here. So just gonna slip this on real quick, put the bolts off place this cover on which you can see it has some burn marks on it from the old uh, dampener must have been wobbling a good bit and started flexing and actually rubbing against it or this was just plastic and heating up over time swelling and rubbing against it either way I need to put this back on just for the fact that I don't want dirt and debris getting up inside the belt and causing a catastrophic failure if a rock gets in there a stone something you know whatever a bolt gets in there and fucks me uh, I don't want that happening so it's just not worth the headache I'd rather put it on and just not deal with it that. Sweet. Yes, I'm missing one of the stock bolts, so I'm using an, an aftermarket stainless steel one. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. 
10 millimeters, all it takes to crank these down then. Such thin, cheap plastic, I don't want to take, take the chance of cracking it. All right, that should hold on for now. Oh shit, I'm an idiot. Don't do what I just did. Forgot to put this back on. Yep, so the timing gear kind of needs this in front of it, it keeps the belt from slipping off it. The uh, dampener actually pushes this on and makes sure the belt doesn't slip forward. So I gotta take the plastic cover back off. Stupidity, just rushing. I try not to hide anything in these videos, by the way, guys, as you can tell, like with the whole head situation. There, shit happens, you rush, you don't pay attention, you get excited, dumb shit happens all the time. Just gotta take it back off, takes me a couple seconds. All right, uh, got the plastic cover back on, put the belt on for right now, put the head back on after I fucked it up. Um, so yeah, there's not much else to do. I'm waiting still for the stupid O-ring to put the oil pan on. I can't believe it's taking this long to get one fucking O-ring, but it is what it is. It's for the upper oil pan to the block itself, so I'm waiting to get that. Uh, once I get that, I can put the whole bottom end back together, and uh, yeah, I need help putting the cams in yet. So, yeah, it's fun doing this. I fucking love doing this. Love drinking beer, I love working on cars. I love drinking this shit. You guys ever had this? It's called Vegas Fuel. It's here in Pennsylvania, it's a small company. Shit is really good and it's cheap. A Red Bull for that little eight ounce can, I think it's like 275 at like, so I'm Pennsylvania, so we have rudders and sheets. So that's our local like um, gas station stores where you can get your energy drinks. This stuff is a buck 50 or two for three as they always sell it. So. And it's an 18 or what's a 16 ounce can? Yeah, 16 ounce can. Shit's good too. So try it sometime. It's fucking delicious.